Hey guys, Jeremy, Jeremy Lou Photography. Thanks for tuning in today. It's uh, it's Christmas Eve, so uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. You're gonna see us after Christmas, but Merry Christmas, and hope everybody's having an awesome 2016 going into 2017. I uh, had a little time to kind of go through the forums on Facebook and kind of chat. Um, oh, before, can you guys please share, uh, subscribe, share this video, like it. Um, let's get some peeps our way. Let's let's have a little combo. Um, Today, um, I actually handled this the wrong way, but uh, today we're going to talk about um, split shifts in a wedding or an event. Um, let's, let's stick with weddings to keep it safer, to keep it a little easier. So what a split shift is, is a, you charge an hourly rate. So whether you charge 8, 10, 12 hours, um, your client sees a way to, they think, save money by asking you to come for part of the wedding, leave, and then come back. Um, Already, some of you may be cringing at this thought, right? Um, for instance, when I work, I work continuously regardless. Um, I did have a wedding uh, when I first started. Um, the way their wedding was set up was the ceremony was in the morning. It was an 11 a.m. ceremony, and the reception wasn't until 6. So um, I agreed. I said yes. I wasn't thinking, but I remember at the end of the day, I actually was super sick at this wedding too, so it didn't help. But at the end of the day, I wanted to kill myself. Um, I shot for three hours um, and then took a four-hour break and then came back to the reception for three more hours. Um, even though it's kind of like shooting two different events within one day, it was still the same event. And for some reason, it kind of changes. That's a little drastic. Um, what I saw on Facebook, um, on some forums, and actually kind of talking to other photographers about it as well, was a little less drastic. So say your client wants to book you um, and you have a 10-hour package and a 12-hour package. They want to go the 10 hours, but they're like, hey, we don't want pictures of us eating. So can you just not shoot for two hours? Do whatever you want. Come back. Um, and shoot the rest of the stuff for us, and that'll save us two hours of work um, or a payment. Um, my answer, surprisingly, is no. That's it's continuous, right? When you guys book out, when you guys do your pricing for your packages for your weddings, aren't you automatically thinking it's continuous? Do we now have to put in something that says, "Hey, it's it's continuous. Um, you can't just piece and match me." Um, so that's where I stand. But I know the biggest issue is, is how do we tell our clients that? If somebody asks you that, you don't want to lose this wedding, do you? Or you, you might want to. But how do you then go about reasoning with them? Because that's basically what our job is. It's, it's to reason, right? We're small business owners. We reason with people who go, can go into a TJ Maxx or a Target and freaking get whatever they want. And that's kind of killing us as a small business. So you get an email and the client goes, all right, so can we split that up? We don't want to do a 12-hour package. We really don't want to pay you for eating. Um, you're not human, so why do you need to eat any blah, blah, blah. So here's a couple things to think about, right? Um, we, we're not necessarily taking a break while they're eating. Yes, we're going to eat, but we're still on. If something were to happen, we need to be prepared to shoot whatever's going to happen. It's not like we're taking a break um, and leaving and coming back. If you do, that's in the contract. If you end up leaving the venue to go out and eat your own dinner somewhere because of a nourishment clause or they're not feeding you, maybe that's a different story. But typically, we're sitting outside, sitting on a table in a break room in the bathroom, in the bridal suite, eating, um, uploading cards, backing up photos. That's what we're doing. It's not like we're sitting back there sleeping and just give me a call when everything else happens, right? Um, that's what we need to tell our client. Hey, it's not that I'm not shooting. It's just I'm actually doing other things. But if something were to happen, I'm able to shoot you as well. And I might be able to pull you out for some sunset photos, night photos, or whatever. Um, the other thing, it's, it's continuous. It's, we're, they're not paying us literally for our time. Um, they're paying us for the time to be there to capture the moments of the day. They're not paying me for every minute that I'm there. They're paying me for my general time that's there. That's my package. So if I charge $3,000 for 10 10 hours, they can't break it down to $300 an hour and then break it down from there, 300 divided by six. They can't, it's not the way that it's done. Um, but at this point, if your client gets a little too nitpicky, it might be time to refer them out to somebody because that's one of our red flags, right? Is, is you can't make everybody happy all the time. Um, and hopefully this client is just somebody that says, that just doesn't know. And they're, they're thinking, you know, uh, if I don't need them for that time, then why am I paying for that time? Um, this is why we need to build relationships with our clients, photographers. 
Um, you need from the beginning, from the day you book them, to let them trust you, to help them out, to guide them, to ensure that you're the professional. Don't let them ask questions. Answer the questions before they happen. Um, I have a whole different workflow video if you guys go back on my YouTube um, and find it on what I do from beginning to end. But let me know what you guys think. Do you do split shifts or are, have people asked you about split shifts? And does it save them money? Do you like it? Um, in those two hours that you're not shooting, what do you do? Are you able to book another session? Booking another session would be the only time that I would allow it. I would say, you know what? I can totally do a shoot over here on the side for two hours before I come back. Uh, and then, so I'm not out money, so I can do it. Um, but when I book a wedding, it's I book the entire day out for them. It's their day. Um, those of you who know my package, I have an all-inclusive package. I don't have hourlies. I do create their timeline, so I don't have to worry about that situation ever. I got smart that way. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Please share, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to keep these videos coming. Again, tomorrow is Christmas. I have a lot of downtime because I'm not working today, so uh, we're just at home. Dinner's happening in a couple hours, and we're going from there. Peace.